Hello everybody, welcome to my new tutorial, I'm SV and today we will do a winter composition. So if you are ready, let's start. Ok, we are in Cinema 4D and first of all I start with render settings. So I am going to render, redshift like usually, going to redshift, passes I will use a 32 for beginning and sample max and minimum like here without any problem. After that going to system, bucket rendering and for a moment I use 1 to 8 but for final render I will use uh, 256. Ok, so. First of all, we create icicles. So, going and make a cone. Direction of cone orientation make a minus y, like this. So, it will be very small, I don't know, maybe only, only, maybe, maybe, maybe 5. Hey, I will use, I don't know, 100, like this. Not so bad. Okay, after that, display a shading line and increase my high samples for, I don't know, maybe 30, maybe will be also 36, like, rotation and, and is good. So, what next? Uh, apply to this uh, con our displacer tool, like this, go to displacer, go to shadings, and in shadings use just standard, I don't know, standard, where is my noise, 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 can I see? Yeah can see, okay, look what we have, it's full disaster, so we are open our shaders, it will be some noise going down and reduce a global scale maybe 10 percent no maybe oh so so i have to increase yeah no five percent what is going on five percent yes and go to object and high intensity reduce maybe for one centimeters only like this so we no need more and now check it's still too noisy going here and increase my uh, noise global scale maybe for 20. Yeah, I have like this. It's already more better, more interesting. But anyway, I don't like it. Going increase maybe for 2 centimeters. Shading maybe make a 5-0. Okay, looks like, looks like not so bad. Yeah, I like it. Looks like very nice. So I'll I'll keep it. I'll keep it like this. So after that, just copy of this con, make here, copy and change. Maybe it will be only 50 centimeter, like this, smaller, maybe only three. Uh, going to my displacer tool and inside displacer, I don't know, maybe I'll change some seed. It's too much. Yeah, and maybe I'll reduce not two centimeters, only one centimeter, just like this. So I have, I have like this for a moment. What next? What next? Uh, con, I have to make a select everything, right click and make it like a connect object and delete. So going to second one, select everything, connect and delete. So I have it. After that, uh, take con and make it 0, 0, 0, this is very important, and con number 2, 0, 0, 0, yeah, like this. After that, put it down, just to receive this y, mm, x, x line directly on the start of this con, so, icicles, yes, I think, maybe like this, and like this. Very good. And after that, take con number two, select this tools, enable access, and make it like this approximately. Con number two, again, and put it somewhere here. So very nice. Disconnect and disconnect. So it's already working. What next? Uh, after that, I'm going to MoGraph and Cloner. Put this two object inside of the Cloner. And inside in the Cloner, I'll use a not this y I will use, I think it will be x, yeah, like this. So I don't know how much, maybe present moment only 10. For a moment, I don't know, we will see. Maybe I will change like this camera and increase it up to maximum. So what I have, I have something strange. 
and it looks like not real. So inside my cloner, I am going to object and I change my 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 clones iterate to random. So I have somewhere small, somewhere big, and for a moment it doesn't matter. So I select cloner, going again to mograph effector, and I use now a random effector like this. And now it's coming full disaster. Maybe you will use it for some, I don't know, cave if you will use, but I'll use it for my uh, roof. So I'm going to parameters and change this. I'm not touch. I reduce this. I don't need, I need only one straight line. Very nice. And I reduce this. Also, it will be straight line. So, and somewhere here, I make maybe 10 centimeters, maybe more maybe 50 centimeters it so doesn't matter so i'm going after to scale and change some parameters for my uh, scale so i will use not uniform scale because uniform scale have effect for all ash uh, sorry x y z uh, same i mean like a same quantity or or i hope you understood what i mean i will use not uniform scale i will use random for x it will be 0, 05 for y 0, 05 and for z 0, 05 and look at this what we have now now i have only uh, two cones but by the random effector i have very very interesting uh, situation yes it's it's really random randomized so after that i'm going to rotation and make this rotation 360 so it will be not a similar and this rotation look uh, for a moment i have a straight line if i use like this you see what is going on so i will make maybe only only two degrees and if you check from from this side i also use it for maybe two degrees maybe three degrees maybe five degrees we will see no five is too much so i'll use a three degrees here a three degrees here it will be some randomized and it will looks like great okay copy we have it what we will do next after that we are create a wall so i'm going to just standard cube make it smaller bigger for a moment no it's, it's really too much so i i will make it five meters more or less will be normal scale five meters just i check it how it looks like mm -hmm. okay maybe six meters lens will be six meters okay so i'll keep it like this and put it somewhere here so i have some wall yeah it will be from this side because i set up camera so for me more easy like this camera will be like here very nice okay what next i have my wall after that i am create one more cube and make it more smaller i don't know it will be maybe how much will it be will be 20 centimeter for only for only just few centimeters maybe maybe only three or five three okay three and lens it doesn't matter so i will make it maybe 50 only no 50 is too much too small 100 100 is good looks like nice okay what i have i have like this for what i needed uh i take this it will be it will be we will call it like a wood oh sorry other language wood okay very nice so I'm going to Mograph, Cloner, and put this wood inside to my Cloner. Again, I have something disaster. I'm going to Cloner settings. So this I am not use. I use this. Yeah, you see, it's already coming somewhere. So I am put somewhere here. It will be like a part of my roof. So maybe I will a little bit increase 100. It's, it's really small, so I will make 200. Okay, now it's better three centimeters maybe five centimeters too wide okay uh, and i make it more i don't know how much will be somewhere here i will put camera somewhere here maybe okay i have very very big 
circles. So I make camera somewhere in this area. So maybe a little bit increase like this. Very nice. Now I'm set up a camera and I will see what I have. Okay. So I hope many people saw my reference photo and I like to make almost same. So somewhere here looks like not so bad. Uh, it's very long, but why we can we can try it. So I am going to cloner and now I change an angle. So I am going to transformation and not this somewhere here. Yeah, maybe I will use just 20 centimeter, uh, 20 degrees. Sorry. Okay, and pick up. Yep, looks like very nice. So what next? Uh, now I create one more cube. It will be some roof. We are call it is roof. I think I correct rises in English. I am not sure, but I hope I am right. So make somewhere here. It's really it's not necessary to make exactly. Believe me, if you like to make a very nice uh, cinematic composition. It's not necessary to make a very, very so good quality or I don't know, just 20. No, minus 20 it will be. It's, you know, like, like a training. You just make it too much different uh, pictures and finally you will find a good decision. So I make it like this and maybe like this. So very nice. After that, I to take my cons and put it down maybe somewhere here exactly on the roof what i have i have it like this but anyways is i think it's really long so i going to my con and maybe i will i don't know if it's possible or not possible to change no i think it's not possible yeah it's possible so i will make maybe zero point maybe zero point five 0 0.5 is too much maybe 0 0.7 okay 0 0.7 so very nice okay i have all i have part of roof maybe now i put cameras somewhere here and what next so uh almost everything ready we are going to texture now Create a camera, make focus of the camera somewhere, maybe here. Very nice. Apply tag for camera redshift tag. Redshift camera redshift tag. Enable exposure with Vignette 10. It will give me some cinematic. Go to bucket and enable bucket. Okay. Uh, just go to renders and check what I have. I have like this. It's I cannot see nothing for a moment and it looks like not so good. So what we will do, I am apply some dome light. Inside dome light I will download somewhere from my desktop. I prepare a, yeah, I have too much everything, but I already have a winter tutorial. Just give me one second, winter tutorial, winter folder. And I have like this, I download it from internet. It's for free. Uh, you can see a size. Uh, it's only like a full HD, not so good quality. JPEG, it's not HDR map, it's just JPEG, but for me it's really so doesn't matter. I'll use it. So, and check what I have. Now it's already more better and more interesting. So maybe I will change now a little bit a uh, direction of my life, light. So maybe just turn maybe like this yeah and i have i have it i have it looks like yeah like this so it will be final direction and looks like very nice as you can see i already have some very interesting illumination so i am going to settings of output and i'll use it uh, one nine two zero four eight six four i think like this yes this will be like a like a cinematic picture. Okay, what I don't like, I don't like to see too much wall. It's really coming too much wall and I don't like to see this angle. So I am going somewhere from top view and take my camera and put this camera more closer to the wall. 
maybe like this. No, sorry, sorry, wall, wall is here, more closer to the wall, and just change little bit angle, uh, where is I put it? I fix this, and change little bit angle, maybe like here. So, look at this, it looks like very nice, I have it, not too much wall, and some picture. So, going now to dome light, and again, little bit change, maybe like this. Okay, so I like, I like it, and maybe a little bit more. You will play how you like it. Okay, so I will go to this wood cloner and I will increase segments maybe 20. And change for 50. So 60, okay, 60 centimeters. So I'll have it more and it looks like more better. Okay, very nice. And focus, focus distance for a camera, it will be this. Very nice. Going to redshift tag from this camera and reduce maybe 0 0.5 to give a more radius for my bokeh. I don't know, I'll check 0 0.1. So I cannot see it. not so big change. Why? Why like this? What's the problem? Why I cannot see any change? Should be focus distance bucket. Ah, yeah, maybe I have to increase. Yeah, okay, sorry, my mistake. So it will be maybe like this. Maybe it will be 0 0.0.3 maybe. Yeah, very nice. So, I'll use for focus, I'll use uh, this. Okay, what next? Uh, now I'm going to my uh, Forester plugin. If you haven't like this, you go to plugins, you go to Forester and create a some tree. If you haven't Forester plugin, you can use any tree, it's absolutely up to you. So I'll use a tree library somewhere, 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 somewhere. Here I have a nice Tila, no. Just a moment. Yeah, maybe this. This looks like not so bad. Going to three param. No, 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 not this. Just a moment. I have to check one more time. Maybe this. Just a moment. I'll check. Yeah, I'll use this three use this three. So going to three parameters and just reduce a scale, maybe 0 0.5 only of this tree and I already have some two texture from this uh, tree but it's original Cinema 4D texture so I have go to Redshift and create material Redshift material so open that and as you saw my tutorial with Forrester if you have possibility to download this tutorial you know how I set up these textures I explain everything inside so you can check somewhere link will be below this video, you can check. And believe me, it's, it's really very interesting tutorial. So now I am not tell you exactly what I am doing because everything in my previous tutorial, if you like, you can check my previous tutorial and it will be good for you and really good for me. Okay, very nice. And one more, I'll do it very fast. Sorry for that. If you not understood what I'm doing, just check my some previous tutorial. So I already have some two redshift material for my tree and now I have to set up this tree. So somewhere I have camera and I like to put this tree just here and somewhere down. So maybe like here. just little bit and I like to keep this tree not in the focus so if I'll render it this tree will be out of focus and it will be very nice so just moment yeah still it in the focus so come on maybe just where here and just little bit here okay so I hope now it will be more or less okay come on maybe I will use a cli for fast render 
No, 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 no. This. Okay, yeah. Now tree is out of the focus and maybe just little bit I put close to the camera. Just little bit. Okay. Yeah, very nice. So for what I am doing this? Because now I'll create a redshift sky and trick. So now I have somewhere sun. How to set up the sun? I am keep it here. I am use a regular texture. And what I am doing now? I take my sun. And as you can see, I have direction of my sun. Direction of sun is blue line. So I am going to rotation tool and just change to this area. And you see my already cons have some small illumination. Okay, I pick up a little bit. Yeah, about like this. As you can see now I have some shadows on the wall. Uh, it looks like very nice and very cinematic. Maybe I will change a little bit direction. Maybe like this. So, very nice. And little bit pick up more. Yeah, looks like very nice. So, I have some very interesting shadow. From the tree, I have a shadows from my uh, cons, or in English, I, I icicles. I think like this, but maybe I have mistakes. Sorry for this because English is not my native language. So, looks like very nice. What we are doing now? Uh, when I download to Facebook and to contact this picture, just a moment, I'll show you this picture. Yeah, this picture. Uh, I receive many good comments, but somebody don't like to see these as uh, stones. Yes, if you can see this is not so good, I use uh, too much uh, displacement and it's like a like a not not so very real if you close this side of picture and look only to this side of picture looks like very nice and how to make a stone wall or bricks wall without any problem and looks like very cinematic so i found very interesting way just follow to this tutorial and you also can do it so now i am close my ipr render i no need it for a moment and i create just standard cube this cube will be with this size so 10, 10, 20. Just check what I have. Yeah, camera. No, I'm not use my camera anymore for a moment. Where is my stone? Come on, come here. Yeah, maybe not like this. Maybe it will be 10 and it will be 20. No, this will be 20. So I have some small stone. Looks like it's, it's really small. Maybe I will little bit increase. 30, 15, 15, maybe 40. 40, 20, 20, yeah. I'll use it like this. Looks like not so bad. Okay, what next? This will be a brick. I think it's correct on English. So now I'm create a instance from this brick. So brick instance, this brick I will put somewhere here. I don't need it anymore. I will work only with instance, render instance like this. What next? I am going to MoGraph and create some cloner. Put my brick inside to the cloner. And I'll use a 20, I don't know. Now I'll check how, how it will be. Yeah, render instance also we will use. Come on. 20. Now my computer will go into a little bit stuck. This is normal situation because I use too much what I have. Maybe 40. Just a moment, check. Yeah, like this. So I have three clones and this instance. So I'm going to brick and I'll use a fillet like this and maybe 0 0.5. Just a little bit. And maybe only one. So I have it. I have it. It looks like very nice. Maybe one centimeters. No, one centimeter is too much. Maybe 0 0.8. Maybe 0 0.75. It should be not so not so too much. Okay. Five. 
yeah like this so and i like to keep some distance between to this brick so i am going to clone her and make it maybe maybe 42 centimeters just a moment i'll check what will be okay it's too much maybe maybe 40 sorry not 42 no maybe 41 centimeter yeah 41 centimeters will be nice okay and make it more make it i don't know maybe maybe 20 so just check what i have i have very very long very long wall maybe 18 so i no need it go to the camera maybe 16 somewhere here very nice okay what next i have it and i like to put it for 60 centimeters after that i go and create a copy of this cloner and just drag somewhere here only for maybe 77 centimeters is is not necessary to make exactly so i have one line and second line what i am doing next i'm going to cloner and create one more cloner so and this cloner put inside and this cloner put inside look what i have now something strange i have many many different objects and it looks like oh you see i have roof so it's somewhere here maybe i'll just reduce a little bit yeah okay very nice so going to cloner and fix clone i disable this so what i have i have like this maybe it will be only 20 centimeters very nice and just give some little distance so it will be 21 centimeters you see i have some bricks and increase i don't know for 20 maybe more now we will see just put it down about like this and look to the camera okay very nice so take this wall and put directly to my original wall but not exactly to the wall just give little bit space so i am going here and somewhere here just a moment i will show you yes this is like my original wall and this is my bricks so i like just put little bit maybe like this to give some place to see what i have inside so now it looks like very nice but it's really straight and in real life it cannot be like this so i am going to this cloner i am going to mograph and create some random effector as you can see coming some disaster so i am going to parameters and what i need i need scale maybe only 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 maybe more less 0 0.2 2 2 like this and i like to apply this effector sorry i apply to this cloner no i no need this and this cloner i have to apply this to this and this cloner cloner of bricks one line and cloner of bricks other line so apply here and apply here and as you can see now i have some very very small moving of this wall so i am going to this random effector and if i will change something you see what is going on so i can play with this and maybe 0 0.3 so it's going a little bit up, little bit down, yes, but maybe 0 0.2, because I don't like it to make it really too much, but I like also to see some randomize. So scale I no need, but I need some rotation, because now it's exactly, it's directly everything. So I'm going to rotation and maybe change it also 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. If I change a little bit more, you see what is going on. So maybe it will be 0 0.5 now I will check. 0 0.5 and maybe 0 0.5 so now all my bricks is not like in same position if i look somewhere from this area you can see what is going on somewhere going up somewhere going down and it's it's really randomized so uh going to ip render and check what i have now just a moment it is going to calculate okay i have bricks and as you can see by shadows it looks like very very different so now i'm going to redshift texturing okay first of all i create textures for my roof because i cannot see it i'm just going to material inside material and this will be just a, just a metal so i'm going to metalness like this and maybe 0 0.5 reflection so i have something and apply it to my 
source where is this to my roof okay as you can see almost nothing changed but finally this roof will give me some very nice uh, specular for and illumination for these um, icicles i don't like you see it's together too much together so i have to go to my randomize and if i have some seed no i haven't seed so maybe somewhere here yeah seeds okay yeah so just change little little bit very nice okay after that i create my material for my wood okay what i am doing i am going to shader graph to texture take one texture go in here and i have already i download something like this wood 1.4 one four doesn't matter it will be like a diffuse color so and also i like to use it for a bump i am create a bump i'm going to color as you can see today in my tutorial not so too much explanation i am very hard with this because it's already too late i have to go to rest also but also i like to make this tutorial for everybody hope you will enjoy this tutorial Put me some like some comments share to your friends and it, it will be very very nice for me maybe 0 0.5 so and some reflection no i no need reflection so apply it to my to my to my wood and what i have now i have it like this but uh it's also as you can see it's coming same so black line here black line here 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 and it's like looks like copy paste so how to avoid this problem i'm just take this wood panel just make a copy and copy only three times it's enough it's really enough so i'm going to cloner going to random and what next anyway same but now i take this so i take this texture going to second one and just change maybe like this going here and change like this so and now this texture is not not same so everywhere i have some very nice difference okay what we are doing next create textures for our icicles i hope it's correct but sorry for this for cloner okay you see and okay go in here what i'll have what i'll have first of all uh, my reflection will be 0.1 roadness then i'll have a refraction one refraction will be one not necessary make link to refer uh, refer reflection and refraction will be 1.33 like a water maybe not so not not so bad so roughness um uh, i don't know i think i will also make it 0 0.1 maybe like this and samples no roughness will be zero samples i will use a 64 because i like to see a very beautiful picture and samples for reflection also will be 64 so i no need any diffuse color i have it like this and also i like to use some dispersion maybe for 20. what i have i have like maybe i will stop for a moment oh it's already very nice it's already looks like very nice okay but what what more if you can see this picture sorry if you can see this picture it looks like very very like like a glass and i cannot see any like a water effect so i am going again to this texture and i will apply just standard noise and this noise i will apply like a bump so i am apply here and i'm apply here overall bump input okay now we are going and we will check nothing changed for a moment absolutely so i just increase this noise scale overall scale maybe to one wait yeah and look at this look at this and it already looks like very interesting so i don't like it see too much bump so i will reduce maybe for 0 0.5 and now it's more better as you can see now it's more better okay what next what next maybe also i can try to use uh, some coating just moment 
Yeah, you see. I give some additional glassiness. So it will be 0 0.5. Look, uh, what I have is coating, some additional specular and without coating. No any specular. So I'll use a coating. It looks like very nice. Okay, what next? Uh, after that, I am do some texture for my bricks. Going again, material, open that, going here. Mm, where is my texture? And take, this will be color for my bricks. Base color for my bricks. Diffuse color. Okay, but as you can see, so uh, what I will do, yes, it's not necessary to apply to this cloner because my cloner use other cloner which use it instance, instance from bricks. And this cloner also use instance for, from brick. So I have only one brick. I just take this texture, just a moment, and apply to my brick. Nothing, nothing special, only like this. And as you can see, all my bricks automatically coming with this texture. So what I don't like, first of all, I don't like, yeah, maybe a little bit reduce, maybe like this to increase a render time. What I don't like, first of all, I don't like any reflection for bricks, so just take out, like this. And it looks like very, how it's calling, without any bump, without any, nothing. So I am going to one more texture. You can use noise, I use this, Struk, Stuko, 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 doesn't matter how it's calling. Yep. And from utilities, I'll take a bump and I take a displacement. So just to be sure that this texture connected to texture input and displacement input. So bump, I have to apply to my main material like a overall bump input but displacement i have to apply to output and as you can see of course of course nothing changed because for displacement i have to use a special redshift tag object tag whereas i have to apply geometry override tessellation and displacement and look at this now something changed as you can see something changed so i'm increase i'm going to this area to just connect and check what i have now i have some small bump and now we will try to play with this so first of all i'm going to my materials as you know default my bump have one so i will reduce 0 0.2 and my displacement one, I also reduced to 0 0.2. And still I haven't nothing because my bricks, now I'm going to my bricks. This is like a cube with one, one, one segments and I cannot make nothing with only one segment. So I just increase maybe in 10 times. And now you can see something already changed. So maybe I will increase for 20 times and now should be something. So maybe I will take out now bokeh from my camera. Just to show you what is going on. Yeah. You see. Already some displacement coming. But anyway it's still too much. And it looks like very nice. So maybe I will keep like this. I like it. Really I like it. Okay. So, and what I have, without my texture, I have this first, first cube, which is my wall. So I am create one more redshift material. This will be like a, I don't know how it's in English. In Russian it's Stukaturka. So, take this, apply it like a diffuse color. After that, I am going to color correct. Take some color correct, minus saturation, no any saturation, and bump input, like a bump input, and displacement.
I hope you are understood what is going on on my screen. If you have any question, send to me some comments. I'll try to answer you if I will be able. So maybe like this. Okay, apply this to my wall, which is without without any texture and increase, I don't know, segments. Maybe it will be, I, I am not sure. Just a moment, I'll check. Okay, come on. I think I, first of all, I have go to save as. And where is my winter tutorial? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Winter tutorial, I save somewhere here. Just save. To be sure that everything correct. Just go in here. You see what is going on? How many polygons I have now in my scene? Yeah, now I can see. Just a moment. This will be like this, and it will be one. So, very nice. Okay, what I have? I have like this picture. So, try to render my IPR window and check what I have. Looks like very nice, and you see this texture. So maybe I also have to use this for cubic. Yeah, now it's more better. This I have to use like a cubic. And this bricks I copy here also. Okay. And now it's now it's more better. Now it's more better. So maybe I just change a little bit angle of my camera. Just check. Yeah. What I don't like, I don't like this area. You see, it's coming like out. What we will do? Or change angle again. Or make like this. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Maybe, maybe we can do, maybe we can do to hide this area. It will be also very nice. So I just create one more cube. I'll do it for uh, 40, 40, 40 centimeters for a moment. I'm going here. Make somewhere in this area. Okay, very nice. And increase it. So, make it like this. And apply this object with redshift tag. So, now we will check what I have. And now it will be more interesting. Just a moment. Where is my IPR? Render again. Now we will check. Just give a little bit time because coming some rendering preparation. Come on. Why I cannot see it? It should be. What's the problem? Ah, yeah, I know why is a problem coming. So I have to increase uh, 50, 50, 50. Now it will be more better. Yeah. Okay. Now it's more better. So put somewhere here. And maybe a little bit here. Okay. Now it's more photorealistic. So uh, completed. I'm going to final setup. So I'll use a uh, 256, 128 system and 256. Very nice. So render and see you in After Effect. Okay, I forget to use camera bucket first and then some, some error with 
my brick, I don't know what is going on and what she don't like. So try again, render and check what I have now. So what I can see now, I don't like this wall for a moment, I don't like this wall. I like to make a distance between these diagonal bricks a little bit more. So I am going to cloner and this 41 to change maybe 42 centimeter and go in here also for 42 centimeters like this. So now I have some distance and maybe I will have some additional specular. So also I'm going to my random effector and my parameters. Just a moment, I will check. This will be 0 0.5. Yeah, this will be one degrees and this, this will be also one degrees and maybe this one degree. Okay, try render again and yes, maybe some bricks. What's the problem? What's the problem? Subdivision. Displacement I have. Yes. Why? Why should I like? I not understood. Bricks. Maybe 0 0.5. Just moment, I'll check again how it will be now. Yeah, now it's now it's more interesting. And try to render. Yeah, it's working. It's working without any problem. So what I'm doing now, I'm going to my bricks and maybe just a little bit increase my uh, displacement for a 0 0.5 and bumping for a 0 0.5 also, just to give more, more interesting design for my bricks. So, and little bit more, just a moment, no need this, and little bit more change my uh, distance between bricks. So again, going here, not 42, maybe 43, maybe 44. Yeah, now I have something and here also 44. So now, now I have C and now it looks like more better. Okay, very nice. So uh, what I can try also, maybe, no, like this, it's, it's good, it's enough. So, again, render and see what we have. Okay, render completed. So, I like this picture. I'm just going to save. I'll use a PNG file for 16 bits. Okay, and save it somewhere here. Yeah. After that, going to my After Effect. So, take it from my Winter Tutorial. PNG file. Drag and drop here. And I'll do composition only with one file, nothing more. So create a new composition. And what I have, what I have, I have like this. What I like to add, first of all, so like this. And of course, it will be a video copilot optical flare. Just take it on original, going, I don't know check maybe like this but only white color white color here white color here yeah also here like this very nice so take it put somewhere here and reduce uh, i don't know 20 50 so it's really too much too small maybe 50 also like this and put it somewhere here very nice so copy and put somewhere here and make it less or 20 only so i have like this and a little bit here maybe 25 maybe 30 yeah like this additionally so two is enough it just gives some additional specular and it looks like very nice and additionally i will create a like usually magic bullet suit magic looks and maybe i'll use something from Blockbuster Chrono Steel. I don't know, it's, it's really too much. Send me some comments which you like. 
So I like this Chrono Steel. Just save and like this. Very nice. So uh, when everything completed, we are just going to render quad. Just a moment. Not now. Yeah, we are just going to render quad. Save is like a JPEG or any file, what you like. And somewhere on desktop, I'll open my uh, winter tutorial. Save, save. So going inside to my folder. Very nice. Open and my tutorial completed. Thank you very, mu very much for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Share this tutorial to your friends. And see you next time. Goodbye, friends.